time for my 35th John Carpenter game, Once Be a Millionaire, the Australian Family Picture Edition for the DVD. Select either the adult or junior questions here. Okay, you've chosen to answer the adult questions. There are 15 of them between you and a million dollars. Let's get you up to the first milestone as quickly as possible. Here's the first question for $100. Was a lock of full clad if a dung on a sheep's hindquarters? Dag, dork, dweeb, nerd. That'd be dog. That's right, well done. Take a look at question two. It's for two hundred dollars. Which was not part of song taught by fifties rocker Bill Haley? Rattle, roll, shake, stumble. Shake, rattle, and roll. Which was actually a cover of a song that Big Joe Turner did, I believe, a couple years before Bill Haley. And I actually like the Big Joe Turner original more than the Bill Haley cover. Here it comes. Which is the official record of a ship's voyage? Trunk, branch, log, plank. That'd be a log. What's the story of the children who visit Never Neverland with Peter Pan? Roberts, Hunter, Parker, Darling. That'd be Darling. Well done, that's right. <laughs> okay, you are one question away from your first milestone. Get this right and you'll be guaranteed a thousand dollars. Lady Hickle's hunchback character is the bell ringer at which cathedral? Cologne, Frem, Notre Dame, Strasbourg. That'd be Notre Dame. Hold on, it's the correct answer. Great, you are guaranteed a check for $1,000, but I don't want you to give up just yet. Let's shake things up a bit now by introducing a few pictures into the questions. A brand new experience for this special, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You might as well play the next question. It's worth $2,000. On what form of transport would you find a plimsoll line? Ship, plane, bus, train? Maybe a ship. <clears throat> well done. It's the correct answer. Say, shut up, just shut up. You had me at hello. Cold Mountain, me, myself, and Irene, Jerry Maguire, Chicago. That'd be Jerry Maguire. Congratulations, that correct answer takes you up to $4,000. The next question is worth $8,000, but you'll drop $3,000 if you get it wrong. Here it comes. The Night Watch is the most famous painting by which artist? Rembrandt, Van Gogh, Picasso, Monet. That'd be a rum run. You have $4,000, you now have 8000 It's the right answer. We're starting to play for some serious money now. This question is worth $16,000, but if you get it wrong, you'll lose $7,000. Here it comes. What was the sometime occupation of the gambler and gunman of the American West Doc Holliday? Dentist, undertaker, banker, photographer. Debbie Dentist. Yeah. There's well. a similar question than the uh, US first edition game which came out in 1999 about Doc Holliday's profession. Okay, this is where you can guarantee yourself $32,000. <laughs> of course, if you get it wrong, you'll drop back to just $1,000. Take as long as you need. Here comes the question. What is the largest island in the Mediterranean Sea? Corsica, Cyprus, Sardinia, Sicily. That'd be Sicily. You'll be 
you out a check for $32,000 guaranteed. It's Victor Questions all the way now. You might as well have a go at question number 11. For $64,000, you've got nothing to lose. Here it comes. Which company manufactures this luxury sedan? Daimler Chrysler, Saab, Rolls-Royce, Audi. Look at this picture of a Maybach, which would be under the Daimler Chrysler brand. Be a uh, chameleon. Be a World War One. Let's see, a uh, house of uh, for a uh, house of Versailles right and a uh, France. Okay, you are now just two questions away from becoming a virtual millionaire. If you get this question wrong, you will drop all the way back to thirty-two thousand. You're playing for serious amounts of money now, so be very, very careful. Here comes question number 14. This is what kind of heavenly body? Comet, star, asteroid, meteor. It's a comet. You've just won half a million dollars. Well, congratulations. You have played a magnificent game so far. 14 questions correct, so just one more to win $1 million. I've got to remind you that if you get it wrong, you would drop a mammoth $468,000. Hardly been thinking about that. So here we go. The very best of luck. This Australian singer was born in Britain with what name? Peter Andre? Peter Andreo, Peter Andretti, Peter Andre. That'd be a uh, Peter Andre. You had five hundred thousand dollars, and you risked it to go for a million. I can tell you, it's the right answer. <coughs> Congratulations, you are a virtual millionaire. You played a magnificent game and answered all fifteen questions correctly. <sighs> Very well done, and thanks for playing the family picture edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?
Thanks for watching.